must have had their heart in their mouth the day they agreed to drive their precious new Qashqai around London for the cameras. Absolutely, but we're very grateful because it's fascinating to see this unusual shape floating around London traffic. We caught up with one of the design team to find out more about this compact crossover car. With Qashqai they wanted us to design a car that's a new niche. They wanted to find a new way of doing a small size car and then something, a new spin on that type of car for people that want practicality but also fun and people that have a life that's less ordinary. Some, they have activities that they want to go out and do but they also want to use it for say commuting to work every day. So we wanted to try and find a new niche. But why are these car designers always looking for compromises? I agree. Surely you'll end up with a monster that will appeal to nobody. It's always a risk that if you, you, if you try and please everyone, you'll end up pleasing no one. I think what we're trying to do, though, is get the best of two worlds, which is this kind of tough off-roader feel and the strength and reassurance that you can get from that and the, muscu and the muscularity that you get visually in the car, um, but also get the practicality of a, of a, a small and medium-sized hatchback and the, the everyday functionality that a car like that can bring. The shape is gorgeous, futuristic, very sporty, and I'd buy a car that had a rear hatch that opened like this, wouldn't you? If you look at the top half of the car, there's a, a very streamlined and dynamic line to it. And then if you look at the lower half of the car, the wheel arches and so on, you've got quite muscular, tough wheel arches. And that's, that's the kind of thing it is. It's, I'd say it's less of a, a compromise, more of a, a crossover. It's kind of a, a Jekyll and Hyde, really. It's hopefully the best of both worlds. But the unusual thing about the Nissan Qashqai is that there's no pesky B pillar in the middle of the car. Why the heck did they do this? The rigidity of the car will be like jelly, surely. Holy scuttle shake, Batman! What we wanted was the maximum ease of access and flexibility of the interior space. So for that we decided we had to get rid of the, the, the B pillar. We had to open up the car like that with the doors that open like, a, like carriage doors almost. Um, what we've also got is a, is a long beam down the centre of the car, which acts two, in two ways. One, to strengthen the car like a spine, but also to support the seats, which can fold up in the interior. So we've actually got two benefits from that. It counters the, the loss of rigidity that you can get by removing the B-pillar, but it also acts to give us a new flexible type of interior to the car, a new type of seating configuration, which hopefully allows people to use it as they want, rather than use it in a way that's been prescribed by a manufacturer. We asked Clive what his favourite parts of the interior of this concept were. Again with the interior of the car we tried to get this, uh, this dual character in. We tried to get a car that was, when you're on your own it's a driver's car. There's a, an asymmetrical sweep which wraps around the driver, hugging close to them. But it also leaves the gap between the driver and the passenger open and unimpeded. So when you're with more people, with your friends for instance, it's easy to turn around and talk to them and that space doesn't feel blocked off. It's, it's a car for single-minded drivers and sociable people as well. It's, we also try to divide up the interior graphically by, for, the, for the passenger environment, running a soft red band around that side of the car to distinguish it from the driver's side. And we picked up on a lot of graffiti art that we saw around the studio in London and tried to give that give that some of that feeling to the interior we tried to give some of that more urban feel to the to the car howard this guy's kidding us sure the design is influenced by street graffiti what next for heck's sake soon they'll be polishing cars with steel wool to give it a distressed look anyway we salute nissan for this wonderful concept the very first designed in nissan's all new london design studio